Hey soul family, what's going on? This is the Phoenix Cloud Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Isa. I'm your friendly neighborhood intuitive oracle slash tarot reader. And I'm doing the darn thing today for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Cross Watcher. This is going to be very general energy. It means we could talk about anything dealing with love. I don't know what specifically spirit wants to communicate today. Okay. So try to stick around to the end. All right. Um, that also means that some of the messages may resonate and some of them may not okay so this is for your sun moon rising gemini's if nothing resonates here in your sun sign for gemini then please check your moon and rising signs and if none of those resonate at all gemini please feel free to check out some of the old um the old readings digging in the crates see what's going on there okay because all of the messages really are timeless even though we put um you know dates and stuff on them okay uh last but not least if you guys like this video please show your girls some love uh by liking the video if you get a little nugget from it if anything resonates for you okay and if you really like it please go ahead and subscribe to this crazy ass channel all right let's get going we're going to talk about the overall energy um you know in love for you gemini and then we're going to talk about how you feel how your person feels or maybe you know energies outside or whatever you're dealing with and then any kind of blocks or anything that we can pick up that might be make it the way it is or keeping you from being together things you might need to work on stuff like that okay and then I'll do some oracle at the end all right talk to me about love for Gemini talk to me about love for Gemini please I was gonna say <clears throat> oh boy Jesus. All right, hang on, guys. All right, talk to me about Gemini, please. Talk to me about Gemini. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, boy, Gemini. Okay. Oh, very interesting. Gemini, I feel like you might be dealing with somebody who's an earth sign. In the recent past here, what I have is a king of wands, a seven of wands, and temperance in reverse. Ooh, I don't like this energy at all. You could have been dealing with um, an Aries Leo Sag for sure. Um, wow. So this is somebody, it's like, I feel like you gave up on somebody because you found out they aren't who you thought they were, okay? This was somebody who completely threw your life out of balance, maybe even made you sick, like, you know, um, just made you, you're like, I feel disgusted. I feel also that you could have a lot of anger or harbor a lot of anger toward this person. Um, this person is extremely, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Arrogant, uh, narcissistic, um, they're not the person you thought they were. You thought they were not that, but they turned out to be that, okay? Uh, you had your guard down, and I feel like this person really took advantage of you having your guard down, okay? Although I feel like some of you tried to actually keep your guard up, you weren't doing a very good job at it because this person was very attractive, a very charming, sexy, all of those things, like there's like a vibe, right? It's a whole ass vibe. Um, and they made you feel like you could, you know, like they cared and you could have your guard down. So you probably got along really well. We now have Ace of Cups, the world, Nine of Pentacles and Eight of Cups in reverse. So I think that 
you already walked away from the situation to something new, okay? Because especially the world, we have the ending of this cycle of like you being single with the nine of pentacles, okay? And the eight of cups. There's just sort of leaving all of the emotional baggage behind and moving forward here is what I feel the most. So I do feel that there's been a recent new offer or there's a new offer coming here, you guys. I mean, this is Santa Muerte that I'm using. So it does look like it's a little bit creepy scary but it's not actually creepy scary um and it's always cool to use cards from different decks because they all show up so differently so i could read these in many many different ways um but you know i don't know you're just you're feet you're you're feeding your own soul makes sense gemini it's there's that sadness of like what was, what could have been. Sure, there's that. But this is you really wanting to heal and just sort of let it all go, right? Because I feel like you've had some darkness, Gemini, and you've outpoured some of these feelings. Um, some of you might have been drinking in excess or things like that too. Um, I'm not trying to air out all y'all business, but if I pick it up, I get it. So some of you may have been trying to drink to get through some of this stuff. All right. But I do get the single independent. I'm ready for a new cycle. There's something you probably learned from this. I feel like with the world, since it is a completion of something, there could have been some communication with this person to possibly wrap this up and heal it so that you could properly walk away from it maybe okay but i do feel like there's a new person here in your life um so let's talk about that we have uh five of pentacles we have um queen of pentacles and a king of cups which i think is really interesting so queen of pentacles representing the home um, the hearth somebody who's reliable um could be a little bit um you know now, I don't want to say Karen-ish, but like, you know, Starbucks, a little bit basic, but, um, you know, nonetheless nurturing and all of that good stuff. So representing relationship. And then you have um, here five of pentacles. So this is um, typically somebody being left out in the cold or something like that. In this case, what it feels like to me is that these skulls stand out. Also what the five of pentacles can represent is not seeing the big picture, knowing that help is there and available right? These two people are like, you know, in the, in the, um, Rider weight tarot, it's like one person kind of trailing behind the other and they're sort of damaged and they're out in the cold and there's just a lot going on, but there's this church that has the light and it's like the hope it's noticing the hope. So I feel like even though this is a five of pentacles, what this feels like is like you're standing on a new hope with somebody else. Okay. Um, if you see here, see that, very interesting. He's sort of walking over it and walking away from it. So that brokenness, that feeling like um, abandoned, that abandonment issue might still be hanging out there a little bit. However, I feel like you guys are working at that. If that's been a thing for you, if this person abandoned you in the past or you had to abandon this energy, you're not anymore. You're embracing your heart. You're getting yourself together. And I think you have a relationship here coming in with the King of Cups like I talked about. Okay, so this is going to be way more fulfilling and it's going to help you maybe with some of those abandonment issues that you could possibly have now. Please keep in mind that this could all be in reverse. I could be talking about a person, you know, that you're here connected with. Okay. But let's go ahead and take a look at the energy that you have to the new person that you're connecting with. I pray we pick up the new person because they could be a really strong energy of the person we just dealt with. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? Sometimes when you're really carrying a lot of that energy, it'll crop up. But let's talk about the new person. How does Gemini feel about this new person or this new prospect of person coming through i honestly feel like some of you just got into a relationship okay how does gemini feel about this new person
Yeah, so we have uh, three of swords in reverse, four of cups, um, ten of cups, and two of swords. This, it's sort of like the healing, okay? So this person is definitely with the three of swords in reverse. It's like helping you to heal, okay? Um, you've got the time out here with the four of swords. So it's like resting, recuperation. This person... Um, you know, they allow you to be yourself. You have that time, that space. You have the Ten of Cups, ca um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here, Two of Swords. And this is interesting because in this Two of Swords, she's somebody whose head is clear and her swords are actually behind her. So she's already made decisions. She's not guarding or protecting herself. She's actually open. She's open to what's next. So this person... Okay, if they're coming, this is how they're going to make you feel. If they're here, this is what's already happening. Okay, they've helped you to open up. They are more of like a safe space. This person could be a little bit more on your level emotionally and spiritually. Okay, um, you know, you feel really good about this person. You don't feel, I don't think you feel threatened. You feel like this person helps you or is going to help you heal, okay? Let's see how this person feels about you, Gemini. All right, how does Gemini's person feel about Gemini, please? Okay, this person feels like they can let their guard down. We have Knight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Damn, damn. Ace of Wands, this person is ready, ready, ready. They really feel confident about you. They feel good about you. You inspire them. Knight of Pentacles, this is like they could maybe see in the long term being with you. Um, they see you as the kind of person who's practical, strategic. You're good at planning things. Um, you have a good brain on you. Seven of Wands, you make them feel secure. They don't have to fight for... Um, they don't have to fight for your attention. They can just have it. They don't feel like they have to have their guard up. They feel king of pentacles. They feel on top of the world with you. They feel grounded. They feel safe. They feel secure. They see a future. This is really a uh, positive. Can you see that? It's positive, positive energy we have going on here. And I think this person can really see being with you in the long term. Okay. You, you still are doing some healing here, but I feel like this person is willing to just sort of stick it out with you. Okay. Is there any block? Is there any block in this situation um, that's keeping this relationship from moving forward or anything we need to know? Any negative energies regarding this particular connection with Gemini and their person, please? Any hindrances? Okay. Page of Swords. Okay, <clears throat> someone might have a roving eye here. I'm not going to lie. Um, that's the first kind of thing that I'm picking up. We have Seven of Cups, King of Cups, Page of Swords. Um, <laughs> so Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio uh, energy. So whoever might have more of the water energy in their chart might be the kind of person who kind of their eye roams a little bit. Um, they might have a lot of options. Uh you know, and they really like romance a lot. Okay. Um, so the, this would be the only factor that would like keep this relationship from really taking off is because somebody likes to like, look at people. They like to like spy on people. They might be a little bit of a shit talker too. So be aware of that, whether that's you or the next person, because we do have page of swords, king of cups, seven of cups. Okay. So that page of swords can be somebody who's like, looks at people on the internet, you know, maybe they, like I said, they like to, you know, they like to maybe keep their options open. They like to have a roving eye, right? They see a pretty thing and they're like, ooh, squirrel, right? <laughs> um, but also a page of swords could be somebody who uses their words for a bad ill intent. So they could be talking about people, saying things, making up things, you know, that's, 
that's a thing here for whatever reason that spirit wants to show us and talk talk to us about regarding anything that might be weird in this connection keeping the connection from happening or um going the direction you want it to go okay so let's go ahead and look at the romance angels and see what the angels have to say any messages regarding this particular connection please for gemini anything gemini needs to know anything gemini needs to know here please Past life relationship, wow, that's powerful. Uh, you have known each other before, so you guys might actually feel that way, like you have known each other before in some sort of past life relationship, which is an awesome vibe, an awesome, and maybe that's why this person feels so strongly with this earth energy, you know, commitment, it's about investing, it's about the material world, you know, wanting to create a material world and a life with somebody. Um, and Knight of Pentacles being the slowest energy. This is calculating, taking time, but it's commitment still. Okay. Anything else we need to know regarding the spread? This love connection that Gemini has. Anything else we need to know, good or bad? Anything else? We have the sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. What did I say? There's some weird stalky sort of like, maybe you're dealing with somebody, like I said, who has a roving eye. They like to watch people, you know, they're uh, voyeurs or something like that. Something weird. Maybe they like to stalk. I don't know. <laughs> maybe you have sort of a stalker energy that we're getting here but uh it feels less like that and more like somebody who could have a, a roving eye could be part of the situation that you guys um could have issues with or troubles or blocks in this situation okay so these are the messages i have for you gemini thank you so much for being here if you got any little nuggets from this if anything resonated at all go ahead and show me by showing your girl some love hit the like button and if you really really like it please go ahead and subscribe. Subscribe. All right, guys. I will see you next time. Bye.